Fellbox? What a stupid name. Who call something that? I'm only a fucking moron. Hey guys, what's up? 2-Bit Jesus here, giving you another 2-Bit Podcast video. And today we're going to be discussing E3, and uh, is E3 still relevant? And um, I think that it is in some respects, and then in others it's, it's becoming a little bit uh, irrelevant, if you will. And I'll, I'll just get into that by citing that, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone's heard the news. There's been quite a few publishers who are not showing up to E3. I believe Activision Blizzard's not going to be there this year. Uh, Disney Interactive's not going to be there. Uh, I believe EA's decided not to be there, though I, I believe Activision and, and EA will still do stuff on Sony and Microsoft's stages. So they'll still have a present, they're just not doing a booth anymore. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one of the big reasons is uh, E3 is no longer the only game in town. Um, you have other huge uh, events like Gamescom in Germany, or even the Tokyo Game Show. So, so with the rise of those other big, uh, big events, you know, people have been wanting to go. You know, companies go uh, instead of investing in a booth at E3, let's save our money and say, you know, go to Germany and you know at Gamescom. It, it makes sense because. Uh, the, the market here, of course, is pretty saturated for someone like EA here in North America, but maybe in over in Europe, you know, they can reach, get more uh, new customers and expand expand their market. So I think that might be a reason. I believe that Sony and uh, Nintendo are going to be saving their hardware reveals, meaning the PS4 Neo and the uh, Nintendo NX for the Tokyo Game Show. So... So there's other conferences, there's other events out there now that are really big and gaining in popularity that these companies want to go to. Also, I'll say we live in this age now where Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, they don't really need E3 to get the word out anymore. It used to be, E3 used to be the place where the companies all came to because they wanted to get the word out to everyone about what they were planning and get everyone excited, you know. And that just isn't the reality anymore. I mean, with Nintendo, you have Nintendo Direct, so Nintendo doesn't even need to to be at E3 because the people who own their consoles are going to hear from them directly. So when they, hey, we have a new game, they can reach you right away through your Wii U to go out and buy a game or to, to advertise a game, not go out and buy a game. But they can reach you right away to go out and adver you know show you a game that they're working on, and they don't even need to invest in getting a booth because they have you right there. Same thing with you know Microsoft with the Xbox. They have Xbox Weekly. Larry Herb, Major Nelson, he's you know there every week telling you about what's new with Xbox, and I'm almost certain that Sony has a similar program. So Sony, Microsoft, and N Nintendo don't really need E3 anymore. They they can get the word out themselves, and then plus you have these other conferences. So I do believe that that has made E3 irrelevant uh, in a lot of respects, but they also still are. I, I think it's going to be a, you know, definitely a decline, but, you know, I, I don't think they're going to drop into any abyss. They're still relevant in some aspects. It is still a big event. There are still publishers there with booths. Microsoft's still there. Sony's still there. Nintendo's still there. And they're still showing off stuff. It's just that uh, there's other places, you know, there's other big events to, to advertise your stuff at. And then also you can re reach your your consumer base directly now. So so it's I don't really see them going away, but I do see them, like, as far as being important and being a must-see event, Maybe not that that being in jeopardy, uh, but I think E3 will still be around for a while. And that's just my opinions. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you think E3 is now irrelevant and is on the way out? Uh, let me know, and again, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give me that thumbs up. And if you want to keep up with everything we're doing, please hit that subscribe button, and have a great day, guys.